Hi guys, today's reading is going to be a love message. We're going to take a look and see what the cards have for you at this particular point in time. It is going to be a general reading, so if you're after a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email is going to be listed below the video. off the table that was the world card okay these are interesting um, messages I feel like there's There's someone around you, someone maybe whom you, this person is in your life right now. Maybe this is someone whom you've recently crossed paths with, you've recently connected. But there is someone here whom you have a very strong connection with this person. And they can feel this connection with you just as strongly. This is someone who... You have a very powerful resonance with this person and their energy and they can feel it too it's very intense there's also this very strong emotional compatibility that you have with them this is someone who just feels like they can connect with you um, and you may not even have known this person for a very long time but this emotional resonance that you have with them, this connection that you share with this person is very intense. It's very palpable. Now, for some of you, maybe this person hasn't just yet entered your life. Make room and, and space for this individual because they're about to come into your life. Okay, So make sure that when they do show up, um, you're, you know, you're on a high-flying disc. You're... Um, You would be able to pick up and recognize this person's energy you know match their frequency match their vibration i feel like this is a very special connection This is someone whom you share a very deep bond with and just a very deep understanding of a deep understanding of this person. I feel like this connection involves some very strong feelings. I, I'm seeing that there's a lot of trust and a lot of compatibility with this person. This person feels as though you understand them as though they don't need to tell you you know what they're feeling or they don't need they don't feel like they need to express themselves they just simply feel this strong sense of ease and comfort in your presence this could be a soulmate connection or this could be a soul partner there's definitely a feeling of this, oh, it's ease. That's probably a really good way to describe it. This person just feels very comfortable with you. Once again, even if you haven't known this person for very long, or only if you've just recently met, it's kind of like a once-in-a-lifetime feeling, I guess. You've just, you know, when you meet someone, you, you feel like you've known them all your life. It's this, it's a love, or it's a connection that you share that, is that runs so deeply and it feels overwhelming when the both of you are in the same room together it is very powerful sometimes it's so intense that you 
feel like you actually can't be in the same room as the person. Um, they just feel like you get them. They feel like you get them, you understand them. They feel like you're, there's something about you that makes them feel very comfortable. There's something about you that makes them feel like your home. Something about, something about you makes them feel like they have known you for all, for all of their lives. There's just something about you that makes this person want you even more or makes this person want a relationship even though they weren't necessarily interested in one right now. I feel like this person, and I feel like you feel the same way because I just feel like the energies are very, there's a reciprocal energy here. I feel like this person is planning to see you face to face. I feel like this person is so, like this could be someone who's got um, a very poetic way about them. I feel like this is someone who's either, maybe they're an artist. Um, this could be someone who's writing poetry about you. Someone who finds you very inspirational. Don't be surprised if this person is, you know, scribbling down notes in their journal about you especially about how you guys first met or is writing you love letters this is someone who's very sweet very sentimental a romantic i feel like this person is definitely a romantic at heart and i feel like with this person yeah they're definitely they can't wait until they see you next especially face to face for some of you, it might be because this is a long distance relationship or maybe this person has recently, or maybe it's you, um, traveled or maybe you're at a physical distance, geographical distance from one another um, or maybe there's a bit of a separation or a disconnection and this person can't wait. Like they're very hopeful for a reconnection. They're very hopeful that the both of you are going to rekindle this one day. Um, something about you, something about, I don't know, something about the way you dress or the way you carry yourself or just the energy you give off or just simply put the way you make them feel, something or maybe even something that you have, maybe even it's this, you know, something or something that you do. Something about you makes this person want that makes this person want you even more, even more than they already do. For some of you, maybe this is someone whom you. Yeah, I feel like there's some sort of distance with this person. Maybe you've met this person online, or maybe you're hoping to reconnect with this person. If this is a past energy, because with the six of cups, this is kind of there's such a energy of familiarity this is an energy of someone being so oddly familiar right so maybe it's a past energy maybe this is someone whom you've known in the past or maybe this is a past life connection but there's there is some sort of connection here there's some sort of past connection with this person um, maybe you're hoping to hear from this person and maybe you're not even sure that you will but the cards do indicate that there is going to be i feel like it's a letter it honestly feels like it's a letter like this person is going to write you a letter um to try and not just communicate with you but really try and reach your heart really try and open up their heart to to you Chalices are all about emotions. I feel like this person is feeling very emotionally overwhelmed. I feel like this is someone who 
is very emotionally involved in this. They may have fallen in love with you. They may have caught feelings for you. They may be catching feelings for you. They may feel maybe they've, you know, maybe they've never felt this way about anyone else in the past and these feelings they may be struggling with these feelings because they're new and very foreign, but yet very exciting to them. I feel like this person just, yeah, something about them falling, falling deeply, madly in love with you, or just falling for you, or just, you know, nose diving into this connection, just diving into this heart first, not necessarily head first, you know, even if something about your connection with this person might not entirely make sense they don't care about the logistics of it they just want to try and make it work or they just want to give it a go they don't want to lose you they don't want to skip this opportunity they don't want this to be a past like a regret this person is ready to fall for you this person is ready to fall hopelessly and madly in love with you this is what it feels like i think this person is also ready to start a life with you or ready to build a life with you um i don't think that they were expecting this i don't think that this person was expecting to fall in love or expecting to feel as strongly as they do for you and i don't think i just feel like there's this air of just this casualness about them and I don't think that they were like looking for a relationship but then all of a sudden they just kind of stumbled upon you and all of this and now look you know look where they're at but they they wouldn't have it any other way they feel like they've manifested you or you know maybe you, you feel this way maybe you feel like you've manifested this person and you have you have because for a long time you've been waiting for someone and something just like this for a long time and now that it's here you might not even know what to do with it because it's like this kind of feels like it's a projection of a fantasy but only in reality you know what I mean it's a vision that you've had or a fantasy that you've had and now it gets to play out in reality I feel like this person is like they tick off all of your boxes they're very close to maybe this is the person that you've always been crushing on or maybe you've always wanted this uh, you know this ideal relationship or your ideal person to look like a certain way and they check all the boxes or maybe this is someone whom you've fantasized about and someone you've romanticized for so long and now it's finally here and some of you might feel overwhelmed you might feel as though okay great but you don't know how to act or you don't know how to go about it lean into this energy just be in this energy because there is something very i'm going to say euphoric right there is something quite euphoric about this experience about this connection now i've mentioned earlier on that for some of you this person hasn't entered your life just yet that's because they are orbiting around you okay they're orbiting in your vortex but they've not entered your life just yet make sure that you make room and space in your life for this person that might mean that you might have to let go of past relationships or maybe even holding on to the idea of a past relationship maybe you're holding on to Maybe it's not even a certain person, but just the idea of this person or the idea of a certain relationship. And when you do that, you automatically, you know what I mean? This, this, just like even holding on to someone's energy or the idea of something automatically takes up space. It takes up physical and emotional space in your life. So make sure you clear up any space for this new and wonderful person that is coming in because this certainly is the start of something big and whilst you're at it whilst you're doing this clearing up space and uh you know a little bit of a decluttering um really 
align with your intentions, with your manifestations, with your attractions. Because you are attracting and you're manifesting the person that you've always wanted. The relationship you've always wanted to be. The kind of love you've always wanted to have and deserve. So and this person is coming into your life. And you deserve all of this. So if this person hasn't showed up just yet, it's happening very closely. It may be someone in your life right now, but maybe they're just not ready. Maybe before they weren't ready. And now all of a sudden you'll find out that everything just magically falls into place. And this person will just show up. Um, maybe it's someone that you work with, someone that you, I don't know, uh, collaborate with. Someone you go to, uh, someone you go to school, university with. This person might even tell you, they may even say something like how they've never met anyone like you or they've never felt this type of way or there's something about you that they will tell you specifically that just has caught their eye or has caught their attention or just makes them want you even more. And there's something about you that feels very oddly familiar, almost like you've known each other. And maybe you have, maybe this is someone from your past or maybe it's a, like a past life connection. Maybe it's a soul contract you have with this person. Or maybe, just maybe, it is your soulmate. Alright guys, and these are your messages. Thank you for watching and listening. Please show your support to the channel by liking, sharing and subscribing. Bye for now.